Hi, my name is Lizzie Clapper and I am the head teacher at McAllister Music Studio. Most days I am teaching lessons from my home here in San Francisco, but one of my favorite things about online lessons is it has given me and my students the freedom to be able to travel anywhere in the world while still staying connected with music. It has been so cool these past couple years for me to be able to go to different parts of the country to visit family or for my students to be able to go on vacation. And as long as you have the internet, we can stay connected with lessons. We keep progress going. And, you know, I do know that the piano is not generally thought of as a very travel friendly instrument, but I wanted to share with you the gear that I take with me when I want to take music on the road. So, in this pretty small case, can you believe there is a full-sized 88-key digital piano? Um, this is called the Swan X Folding Keyboard, and I want to say I've not been paid to make this recommendation. This is just what I chose after doing quite a bit of research. There are other options out there. I found this one to be like kind of the best bang for your buck. Um, and I took size into consideration. I took weight into consideration. Um, and I think this is a really good option that you can get for under $200. Um, so let's open it up. Let's see what we get. And it comes with a, like a nice little case. Um, let's see. And when you open it up, looks like half a keyboard and you would be right it is half a keyboard and it just kind of unfolds like this and then just sort of clicks into place locks and there you go it is full 88 keys it is not heavy at all I'm not the strongest but it is really lightweight and it one thing I do really like about it is it's battery powered so if you're going camping and you wanted to practice in the redwoods this would be a great option because it doesn't even need to be plugged in it has a battery pretty cool um and it comes with a pedal and a charging cord i'll say the pedal is like it's it's fine it's not a replacement for your pedal at home but it is really great to take your practice with you anywhere you go and this is like just a really good option um, so like I said it's full size 88 keys it is touch sensitive so the harder you press the louder it is and the lighter you press the quieter it is um, if you have the space I will say having a, a different speaker other than the built-in speaker does make the sound quality a little bit better but if you're just like I want just one bag to pick up and grab and go then this is a really good option to have. Um, in your case, you've got a little kind of pouch at the front and there is your pedal. There is your charging cord. I have a little um, sound cable in here too in case I wanna plug in a different speaker. And something else that wasn't in there is a little music stand that just kind of pops right into the front right here. You can put your books right there and how cool is that? So this is my largest sized suitcase that I have. Um, and as you can see, this is even shorter than, than that. I did measure, this is like just a bit tall. The case, the keyboard case is a bit taller than a, a carry-on sized, sized suitcase. So it wouldn't quite fit in your carry-on luggage, but depending on your airline, you might just be able to have this as your carry-on. Um, or if you're just driving somewhere, it's no problem whatsoever. It's a really small piece. So in your largest size luggage, it really doesn't take up even that much space. I'd say it's probably like less than a quarter of all the space that you would have inside. So this, this piece of, of luggage, it just tucks really nicely into just one of the halves and it is yeah it's just like one fourth of all the space that i have in here and so that tucks really nicely away into the corner um i can just kind of latch this on top of that and then oh my gosh look at all of the space i still have for all my souvenirs for wherever i'm going let's say hawaii and then of course this just zips on up and i am ready to go 
on an adventure with my music. So I hope this has been helpful. Again, I have not been paid to make this recommendation. This is just what I take with me when I am on the road and I need to take music with me. There are a couple other companies you can look into. There's one called Pocket Piano and another one called Piano de Voyage. And they both make really nice looking travel keyboards. I haven't tried either of them, but they do look really nice. And they're just quite a bit more expensive than this one that I chose. Um, so I would recommend the Swan X, that's what I use. I've taken it at least on four trips by now and it's been really great, I highly recommend it. Ultimately, I just hope that you can find a keyboard that works for you, that you can travel with and helps you to continue your journey through music, so wherever that may take you. Safe travels and happy music making and I hope to see you soon. Bye.